What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we are checking out the final release of Space Crew. Uh, we got a chance about four or five months ago to play around with the demo of the game, courtesy of the developers who were super rad in sending it over. Uh, they've won up to themselves again and they've sent this one over now for our full appraisal. This is it! We're on the front lines. I don't know if you guys enjoyed Bomber Crew, but Bomber Crew is one of my favorite, like, underrated games that, like, nobody's ever played. And I'm just like, how have you not played Bomber Crew, dude? It's, like, incredible. Seriously, either buy Space Crew or go check out Bomber Crew. They are both legit as hell. If you like 1942, flying over Germany, dropping bombs and stuff better, then you're gonna like that. If you like being in space and shooting lasers and killing off Xenos, then you're gonna like this better. But either way... You should definitely check it out. Like, Bomber Crew is my is my jam. Let's start a new game. We'll go to this empty slot right here, and let's get rolling. We got an alien threat to deal with, cousin. Welcome to Athena Station. We have a mission that requires your immediate attention. It appears a module in a comms array by the moon is malfunctioning. We're not expecting any complications. It's going to serve as the perfect opportunity to go over some basic training. We need you to go and retrieve the module, repair it on your ship, and deposit it back into the comms array. All right, so we got our pilot. Our pilot, we can launch the ship from up here. Uh, Zemansky, take us to the sky. The Lunar Pelican? Bro, that's a terrible name for a spaceship. We don't even have pinups, like, spray-painted on the side of it, dude. We gotta get on this. We gotta get on this. Alright, we've deselected the Capitan. And we can kind of zoom out. You can see that, like, we're doing space guy stuff. Flying around. Being a spaceship in the void. You know how it goes. Apparently, that's our objective back there. So. Here, I'm doing the thing you want me to do right now. Alright, so we've got this thing. This was the same thing in Bomber Crew. We have tagging mode. And so what tagging mode does is it effectively sets like a short-term objective for your character. It flags targets to be shot down. It tells the pilot where you want to fly to. And it's like an integral part of both this game and also Bomber Crew is using the tagging system. Like, it's going to feel a little bit unwieldy the first time that you do it. But I promise, I promise you, if you just stick with it and you practice, like, it's going to become second nature. And you're going to start doing it, like, preemptively without getting yourself into trouble. Uh, it wants me to fast forward a little bit. That seems like a good idea because... This it's pretty far away. It's only like a kilometer, but a kilometer is enough when it comes to filming a video. We'll go ahead and enter slip time or whatever it is right now. We'll just zip zop zoopity bop on over through the objective. Alright. So here we are. We gotta talk to our captain. We can charge our warp drives. Let's go. That appears to have knocked out all other systems on the ship, so ain't nothing working once that's knocked out. Got a couple of gunners laying around, which is pretty cool. Although I'd like to have a gunner over here. What is Mendez doing over in this? Mendez, what? Oh, he's locked. Okay, I was going to put him on a gun. I don't know what Mendez is doing, dude. He's just like sitting there, dude. He's just sitting there doing Mendez stuff. I don't know. It's Mendez. You know how it goes. You'd be like, Mendez, what are you doing right now? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, looks like we've got some uninvited guests. Our scanners are picking up incoming phasmid activity to your location. We're uncertain how many are on their way, so make sure your weapons are manned. Hell yeah. Get in here, Mendez. I knew it. I knew it. All right, Mendez, you go on over here. Yeah, join, a, join, us, inside the, join us inside the gunner room. Uh, what is this guy doing right here? Oh, he's not a gunner right now? Oh, he's not. Okay. So apparently our security officer is now on his way to a firearm. I don't know what any of these consoles do over here, by the way. Uh, Phasmid fighters incoming from where? Where do we have? Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. All right, let's flag them up so that they get shot at. There we go. And they're just going to combat these guys automatically on their own. You don't really have to worry about the rest of it. We got more Phasmids coming in from that side. We'll go ahead and flag them up. Uh, looks like we have one Phasmid down already. It looks like the other ones are actively being fired upon. I don't know why these aliens are so grumpy, dude. Why don't they just leave us alone? I'm trying to fix my comms relay so that I can have a sweet conversation. You know, with my lady back home. Be like, hey girl, the stars remind me of your eyes. You know, like, you gotta send stuff back like that. Otherwise, they leave you while you're out on, like, space war. Like, you gotta be careful about it, man. Eh, it wasn't really what I was going for. 
There we go. A little bit of XP flying around. Good work. That's the last of them. Repair the probe and return to base. Well, there's our comms array right there. So we'll go ahead and set that up. I don't know if anybody has to, like, spacewalk in order to do this. Oh, it looks like he does, actually. we got to tractor beam it on in. Okay, I'm sure they're going to make me do this in combat. I've played enough Bomber Crew to know where this is going. It's going to get hectic. There's going to be, like, enemy, like, special units attacking us while I'm trying to suck this thing in and fix it with one gunner down. They're all going to attack from that side. It's the exact same thing that would happen in Bomber Crew. The exact same. That's why I never did the objective in Bomber Crew until I killed literally everything. I just didn't even bother. I just stretched out my fuel supply. <laughs> we just we just cut the fuel mixture with less, uh, with less oil or whatever. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. All right, Mendez, get on in there, man. Take care of it. There's no, like, epic music right now while he's fixing this star cube. Like, I definitely feel like there should be kind of, like, some epic, you know, sounding like the Patriot music. Like, like there should be something like that. I don't know. I'll fill in since it doesn't appear to be here. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and fart that thing on back out. Yep. Off it goes. Pretty excited about this game, if you can't tell. Like, I love Bomber Crew. Like, legit, I love Bomber Crew. Like, Bomber Crew makes me so happy. Uh, it wants me to tag a warp gate. All right, let's tag the warp gate real fast. There we go. Mendez, I need you to, like, I don't know, dude. Go somewhere else. Just, like, go do an activity. All right, we're ready to roll. We'll go ahead and charge up the warp jump real fast. It's going to knock out our shields when we do this, but you know what? I'm not that worried about it. Not that worried about it. Back we go to the station. We're going to pull on in. We're going to land here. Each one of your characters is going to level up. That's why there's XP, and they're going to get special abilities, sort of XCOM style. Like, one of them makes them fire twice as accurately and twice as fast for, like, 15 seconds. There's ones that allow you to do, like, crazy repairs super fast. There's ones that'll, like, insta-heal people and things of that nature if they've been taking damage through the hull. Just lots of stuff to think about. Uh, pull on into the station, would you? Oh, it won't let me fast forward into the station. Interesting. Apparently, I can slow time down, too. Oh, I've actually got my... I've got limited time dilation. It's got a little meter right there. Okay, that's good to know, but that's going to help me, like, plan things out once we get to combat. Always try to use the, the slower time when and where you can, just in case it gets a little too rowdy for your blood. All right, mission's done. Thousand credits right there being added to our account. We got a little bit of research, so that's pretty sweet. The Lunar Pelican is back. It was not obliterated. I did not fail at my task like everyone at command thought that I would. All right, you make one mistake, you lose one batch of cosmonaut monkeys, and everybody assumes that you're not going to be able to do any other job. All right, I took the monkeys into space. They said to help, like, do the thing. I accidentally vented them into orbit. There is now several frozen monkeys flying around the exterior of the planet. I thought I was going to get a demotion. This might be that demotion. I'm not really super sure. But either way, um, killing space monkeys didn't seem to affect my life as much as I thought it was going to. Uh, back to the mission here. What do I do at the mess hall, by the way? Mess hall? What do you have in here? Doesn't look like we do a whole lot in here, actually. All right, we'll go back to our mission. There's enemy forces at Phobos. Well, I've played Doom. We got to take care of this. There ain't nothing I love as much as killing aliens inside of human airspace. Let's go get them. All right, so at some points during this mission, some control of your ship and crew will be locked for training purposes. Why? Don't do me like that. Why you got to do me dirty like that, video game? Just cut me loose. I've played like a million hours of Bomber Crew. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll figure it out. I know how to raise and lower the, the landing gear and everything. Is he locked right now? Oh, he is. All right, so we got to go to tagging mode. Our objective appears to be over that way towards Mars. So let's head on out to the Martian hinterland. See if we can find anything interesting happening out there. I'm going to go ahead and start this on up. You can start the jump right here. Yeah, you can start the jump charge like whenever you want. All right, before you hyper jump, let's run through how the ship's reactor works. Uh, select your engineer. Okay. 
Oh, he like does stuff over here. Okay, so we have to focus on shields. We can focus on weapons. And then we also have everything in engines right now. Okay, fair enough. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, so we're gonna have different things that we can allocate around. You'd have to play around with like electrical systems uh, when you were messing around with with bomber crew. There was other stuff to consider, like your fuel mixture and whatnot. But all right, so our energy weapons don't have any power to activate. That's fine. Totally cool. I understand completely. All right, let's ready to hyper jump real fast. Boom. You can also use the number keys. It works the same as Bomber Crew. The number keys correspond from top to bottom. So if I press 1, it gives me the captain, so on and so forth. Just things to know. All right, so power's been balanced out. What we need to do now is I'm going to slow the game down for a second. Uh, we'll remove a unit of power from the gravity generator. We'll kind of see what happens. People are just going to float off, huh? All right, put something into weapons right there. Energy weapons, plasma cannons need energy in order to fire. They are more effective with more power. That's good to know. Non-energy weapons don't require it at all. Good. I mean, I do feel, I, I do feel as though, oh, you're going to put him on that side panel, huh? All right. Yeah, he's got to, she's, <laughs> she's got to float around right now. She's got to do the tippy toe thing. Get her so you'd think we would just install handrails all around the corners so you could just monkey bar your way around while you're inside there. Like, it feels like it'd be faster. I don't know. Enemies incoming. All right, let's do this thing. Mendez, I need you to get on a gun, please. If you're not on a gun, I would like you to be on a gun. All right. What are we looking at here? Where are we at? Where are they at? Oh, there they are. All right, slow the game down. We'll go ahead and tag these guys. That's uno, dos, and tres. We'll go for this one over here. All right, so we've got that task done. Uh, we'll go ahead and kick this off real fast. Enemy fighters coming on in. I'm just gonna kind of like pan and scan for a minute, see if anything else is going on. They're probably not likely to hit a whole lot from over here, but it kind of is what it is. Tail gunner might get somebody over there, but we are taking a pretty decent scuffing right now. I think they're going to be through the shields and into the hull really, really soon. Now, does anybody have special abilities? Does anybody have, like... So he's got the auto cannon. You've got that right there. Yeah, they don't have the special abilities yet that make them aim more accurately. So for right now, we're just going to be relying pretty much entirely upon RNG and luck in order to shoot these things down. The downshot is... Hey, there we go. Let the... How long does it take for that to recharge around the back? Because we have a pretty... A pretty glaring weakness right now in our shields. Are they going to swing back around and hit me in the booty hole again? I don't need these aliens trying to hit it from the back right now. That's going to end up giving me some kind of terrible nickname back at the station. Something that I don't want to deal with with my compatriots, all right? All right, a few more of them down. We took care of business. We still got to go to Phobos, so we'll head on over there. Uh, let me jump on into here real fast. Give me a little bit of space to play around with. Mendez, we're going to pull back in over to this side. I'm going to turn the gravity back on just in case we need to move around the fuselage a little bit. Uh, the front gunner wasn't really doing a whole lot that time anyways. It didn't really seem to be that useful. I don't know why you would put the guns on the sides like this. Why wouldn't you just put the guns on the top and the bottom? Wouldn't that be more effective? Because then they could fire like in any direction and cover like half of a sphere on either side as long as the ship was built properly. With this right here, like this guy only has line of sight like over here and he's blocked by the engine right there. Like he, he's blocked by the nacelle. Like, I don't know, dude. I, I feel like whoever manufactured this uh, could have done it better. Like I'm not trying to tell somebody else how to do their job when it comes to spaceship manufacturing. Like I'm not gonna act like I'm a genius when it comes to spaceship manufacturing. But I feel like I do have some, some, some interesting observations about this situation. To the hyper jump! I hyper jumped one time when I was at another person's birthday party when I was like 13, but it was mostly because they just had a trampoline and a cooler full of Mountain Dew. It wasn't nearly as interesting as hyper jumping in this game. Mendez, get on that front gun for me, would you? Oh, Christ. All right, they coming. They coming! Let's get them all nice and flagged up while we're in slow mode right now. There we go. Hopefully Mendez gets on over there. Mendez, I need him to become like a crack shot. 
Like, I haven't had a single chance this time for to be like, hey, don't get cocky, kid. Like, we gotta, we gotta have that Han Solo moment in here. Oof, they're all coming from that right side. That is not good. That is gonna be a lot of a massed fire on one line of shields. You see what I mean? If all four guns were on top of the ship, they would all be firing at these guys right now. And then four guns on the bottom, they can't go anywhere. We got them, no matter where they go, we got shots on them. Uh, shields are down on the... On the port side, looks like. I think that's the front of the ship right there. So yeah, it looks like we got shields down on the port side, maybe. Maybe the starboard, I don't know. Maybe this is the front. It's kind of hard to tell. Maybe it's like the top shield. I'm not super... Oh, we got more coming in. All right, we'll get them flagged up real fast. Oh, we got more coming in right there, too. All right, they're coming in hot, dude. We got, like... Woof! We got things to take care of, I guess. Luckily, the tail gunner tends to be the most effective position, so tail gunner should be able to handle that business. Like, you could get a ball and... You could get a ball gunner and bomber crew that was on the bottom, so you had a tail gunner and a bottom gunner, so no matter where they were, as long as they were lower in altitude than you were, you had two guns focusing on them, which was like... Crazy cool. Uh, what is this guy doing over here? What, what, what is happening here? They pull him to fire broadsides at me? Like we're fighting in the 1600s? We gotta get the, you gotta have the sailor's hornpipe, man. That's like the quintessential shooting cannons at people song. Oh, dude, there's more of them, aren't there? Oh, we know about them. Okay, we know about them. We just simply aren't firing our guns at them. Makes sense. Thank you for that. Appreciate it, Gunners. You guys are doing a great job. I appreciate that you guys see that there are enemies and that you are not firing at them. Yeah, let's flip this thing back around. We'll go ahead and give ourselves like a heading real fast. Something they have to forcibly adapt to. All right, we get them all. Are we good here? We all nice and solid. Mission objectives complete. Hell yeah. All right, well, let's go back to base then. Uh, we should have our jump ready to rock. Waypoint locked patrol. Okay. I wonder if the enemies are going to come back with time. All right, so before we return to Athena, here's a little bit about the piloting modes. Oh, yeah, you're probably going to have patrol. You're going to have, like, bombing run and some other stuff, just like in Bomber Crew. There's a couple different ways you could you could approach attacking a position. I loved Bomber Crew. All right, so pulling back into base. Another successful mission. When we went out there and we stomped some Phasmid face. Because that's what they deserve. Don't come inside this solar system unless you come right, aliens. You know. I don't want to have to give you the Will Smith experience. Just catch you with that right straight. Just bop. Welcome to Earth. You know, because I'm waiting. Ever since I was like eight years old, I've been ready for that moment. My entire life. Just waiting for aliens to show up. So the second their door opens, bop. Welcome to Earth. I've been waiting. It's going to really, really be unfortunate if they're friendly. I'm going to add that in. If the aliens end up being friendly, that's going to be really, really bad. But, hey, we leveled up. Nice. So we've got reactor boost. We've got attack and defensive mo uh, maneuvers. So that's good. Shield replenishing. Focus fire. This right here, most useful thing in the entire game. I can almost assure you. In Bomber Crew, that was the ability that got stuff done right there. That's what shot him down quick. Sent him just tail spinning out of control towards the ground. Apparently, we've also got armored suits. We can equip everybody up if we want, so that's pretty cool. They're going to lose mobility when you do that, though. So, like, your crew is pretty highly customizable. Not, like, crazy customizable, but customizable enough. We can go over to the crew gear. You can usually give them, like, oxygen bottles and stuff. I don't know what they have on them right now. You can also select the same suit for, like, everybody if you really want to. All right, so for Zemanski. Zemanski is the captain. Now, Zemanski apparently has... Oh! They've got presets. Okay. So they've got like an armored preset right here. I would recommend in general, uh, taking lessons from the first game, I would recommend upgrading your ship before you upgrade anything else. That's just kind of like my thought. 
That's like the way that that's the way that I think about it is that like the ship is most commonly shot at. The ship is the thing you need to hold together, and your character shouldn't really be taking damage as long as the ship is in good shape. So I tend to be the kind of person that puts like all of my money into ships, and I don't really equip my guys all together that well until the ship is ready to rock. Unfortunately, we can't do that for right now. Uh, one thing I would recommend is that with the gunners, they're not going to be moving around a whole lot, so we don't really care about their mobility. So we're going to equip them with the heavy armored gear because they get shot through the fuselage all the time, and it's going to sting a little bit. These guys over here, I'm not really too worried about customizing their loadout. I don't really care about it that much. Uh, we could give them light gloves and kind of throw these in on, like, everybody. Yeah, give everybody gloves, because those don't nerf your mobility. And then do the boots nerf mobility? They do. So the boot, and it looks like the... Oh, we can go with Hawaiian shirts and whatnot, too. So we can be Hoban Washburn right here. All right. I like that they gave you a little bit of customizability. And you can change the colors of these, so you can actually kind of roleplay this as Star Trek if you wanted to, too. I like that. They give you some, like, extra kind of leeway when it comes to customizing and giving personality to your characters. I dig it. Well, what I have to do, then, is in the spirit of Wash, there we go. We gotta, we gotta give them the Hoban Wash shirt. We have to. Perfect. Alright, let's go see what's up with our next mission. Alright, so we can transport supplies, or we can go after Phasmids. Uh, in the previous game, it told you which of these, like, advanced the narrative so that you could play around a little. Oh, these guys have the little headband things on. They got, like, those navigator headdress things from Warhammer 40k. Uh, we'll transport some supplies. Why not? Phasmid activity has delayed the transportation of much-needed supplies to a mining outpost. Safely transport the cargo pod to the outpost besieged crew. All right, cool. Let's go, uh, let's go, let's go knock them off their spot and see if we can get this rocking. Uh, I think I've got all my presets ready to go. I, I I'm not too worried about where everybody's going to be at. I probably should have given the security officer armor, too. Oh, apparently I can purge areas. So, like, if somebody tries to board us, I can, like, purge an entire area and just suck them out into space. I actually kind of dig that. I sort of like that. All right, let's go ahead and launch. we got stuff to do. Chances are, after this mission, we'll be able to customize our ship a little bit, too, which I think is the fun part of the game. Uh, before starting, let's go over some of the equipment on your ship. It's stored in there. Yeah, okay, I know what all the equipment does. I am aware. Med kits heal people. Uh, these right here for putting out fires. Oh, cool. There's like little fighter jets right there. Nice, dude. Oh, there's a fire on my ship. Oh, there is, isn't there? It wouldn't let me zoom in for a second. It was, it was like bugging on me. All right, we'll go grab this real fast. And we'll pick that up. Put out that fire, please. Poop, poop. There we go. Fire done been put out. Perfect. Stow it away, and then we'll put Mendez back on what he's doing. Oh, apparently our nacelle is busted now. All right. Yep, jump into a suit, baby. Jump into a suit, get on out there, do your deal, fix that thing on up. Just be careful. I, I assume that this is probably a lot like Bomber Crew. And that, like, things that go wrong can basically launch your guy into space. Like, in Bomber Crew, you had to watch them fall off of the wing and just descend towards the ground with a meteoric impact, kind of Looney Tunes style. And you're like, well, we need a new engineer. <laughs> in this one, I assume they just get vented into the vacuum of space. All right, so the engine's been fixed. We'll take them back inside. We'll put him back in his seat over here. Is he just going to, like, stay in the spacesuit? Does it matter? Oh, it throws it on the ground right there. Okay. Yeah, the rifles are over there for when we get boarded. There's med kits, everything else. I'm already aware of this information, so this is not super helpful, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's go maybe over to here. It's the first time I booted up the game, so I assume it's probably going to have... Oh, we can go with a safe route, or we can go with a long route. Do we have fuel to worry about? Engineering. What do we have going on here? It doesn't look like we have... So in Bomber Crew, you had to deal with fuel. And so, like, taking, like, the long route was always a terrible idea unless there was, like, a massive flak field in the way or something. Um, I don't know why you would not take the safest route in this one. Uh, we've got to go to Venus, so we'll head over that way. I don't see anybody. Enemies are incoming. Oh, that's not great. All right. 
Uh, Mendez, go jump on a gun. Security officer, go jump on a gun for me, would you? Turn off the time dilation. I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. All right, give me some DACA. Yep, put a little fear, put a little heat on them. Let them have it. We can't, we can't physically jump. We're not able to physically jump until... Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. All right, so who's got... Are you shooting right now? All right, give them the focus fire. Let them have it. Juarez, you give them the focus fire too. Let's light these... Let, let, let's light these clowns up. See how this goes. Oh, those look like hits to me. There we go. Light them up. Light them up. Light them up. Uh, let's flip this around. Make them shoot a different part of our shields. Our shields are going down. So I think turning and kind of about facing on them is the best plan for right now. We sort of want to rotate their fire to sides that are fully shielded. Just give that a chance to, like, kind of recover. All right. So we can probably leave this mode right here, and we can probably watch it more cinematically from right here. We're probably good. Uh, we may not want to make the jump till the next zone until focus fire has recharged. I don't know how enemy spawning works in this game. So in Bomber Crew, there was like a finite number of enemies that would kind of harass you or hector you during a mission. Uh, whereas... How we doing over here? How we doing? The reactor is damaged? Why is the reactor damaged? Hold on. What's going on with our reactor right now? What has uh, what has occurred? All right, Mendez. Yeah, Mendez, come over here. Fix the reactor for me, would you? There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. All right, let me pick a new objective real fast. We'll fix that. We don't want to go back that way. We want to go this way. Hopefully, the shields come back up pretty quick. We looking good. There we go. That's what I like to see. Fix the health station too, would you? Oh, that's not fixing the health station. Pilot's beat up. I wasn't expecting that. We may have to give the pilot a little bit more armoring. Uh, yeah, jump on in there, pilot. Do your thing, man. We'll kind of have you regen for a minute before we go anywhere. Actually, everybody took a little bit of a scuffing right there. Oh, there's a limited amount of healing you can use too. All right, jump back in the jump back in the helm, and, and we'll see what we can do here. Uh, chances are, I need you to charge up my jump, anyways. Oh, we're not at the gate yet. Nice. I thought we were at the gate already. No enemies jumping in, so we appear to be safe. Everybody's HP appears to be somewhat nominal. People took a little bit of damage, but you know, focus fires back up, which I'm pleased as punch about. That's really good. All right. Go ahead and we're going to engage this. I don't know what's going to be waiting for us over at Venus. Could be about anything. Uh, let's take a look here. So we can go to this asteroid belt. Enemies are indeed incoming. All right, Mendez, hop on over there. We'll keep you on that right there. Uh, we're going to make our way to the objective. Give me the captain. We're going to go on... Let's see here. Plot a course towards enemy fighters. We don't want to do that. We want to go defensive. I need him to pull out. Ooh, approaching from a sun. That's smart right there. Blind the gunner. That's real smart. I didn't expect the AI to be... I don't know if it works like that, but like in real life, that would be the smart way to attack. Is always with the sun behind you. So like in order to look at you, they have to really, really kind of harm themselves. Man, that thing got scuffed. That thing tried to pull up on us. Yeah, don't waste focus fire just yet. Don't waste it just yet. Oh, I got more coming in from this side. All right. Give them the heat. Let them have the blicky. We haven't had to divert our course at all yet because our shields haven't really been getting, like, smoked. But I think we'll be all right. That's a bold move. Your shields are already down, cousin. I was going to say, you may want to think about what you just undertook. That might not have been the right move. Coming at me from the front, huh? All right. There we go. We're looking okay. Uh, I'm gonna say let's pull this over to here, and then uh, actually I don't need the time dilation right just yet. Who's hurt? 
Come on over here, buddy. Get yourself healed up. We'll jump to the next zone as soon as he's got a little bit of his HP back. I just I don't like having gunners that are kind of scuffed. I would rather not. All right, you go get back in there. Uh, you go ahead and work on whatever the hell that is. Looks like gravity is malfunctioning. So fix the gravitational drive. I... Have we pulled in yet? We got a couple hundred meters left. Okay, that'll give them time to finish off that repair right there. Uh, let's go ahead and... I don't know if I should charge the jump right now. There's no enemies coming, so I don't really see any real reason to stress ourselves or, like, push for... I don't know. Like, I don't see any reason to... To charge early if we don't have to. Yeah, go ahead and engage that thing. Let's see how bad the situation is over here at Venus. They said that they were being sieged. Oh, there's asteroids. That's good. Captain Mulgrew of the Destroyer, we are under attack. Please help us. All right, well, I'm going to do what I can do here. Uh, we're going to play defensive for right now. Uh, we should have enemies coming in. I'm trying to see their warp traces for the moment. There they are. All right, give it to them. Let them have it. Let them have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've also got something coming in from that way, maybe? Yeah, there we go. I thought I saw it. Perfect. All right, so keep the guns on whatever side they need to be on. Uh, when it comes to my tail gunner, go ahead and give me a focus fire, please. Let them have it nice and spicy. Go ahead and give me a focus fire right here, too. I would rather not deal with these guys acting all kinds of crazy. Doesn't look like I have any untagged enemies left. There are asteroids flying around, though, so we're going to have to be careful about that. They're coming in from above. That's actually a really smart play. It's uh, eliminating my ability. Ooh, uh, who do I want to do this here? Gravity's kind of beat up. We're going to have to wait a second. Losing gravity inside the ship is not really that big of a deal. We can live with it. Uh, shields are going down on that side. Let's kind of push towards the destroyer, please. There you go, there you go, there you go. Shoot him down. Shoot him down, cousin. Let him have it. Don't let him get all kinds of wild and invasive out here. All right, engineer, come on over here and fix this real fast while we don't have any enemies coming from that port side flank. Seems to be the last of them. We can get the cargo down. Nice. Okay. That's what I like to see, dude. I love this game. I love Bomber Crew. So this is like a continuation of Bomber Crew, which is one of my favorites. Like, I have so much fun with Bomber Crew. Ow, dude. Hey, 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 What was the point of that? You weren't going to shoot that, man? Can we even shoot that? Looks like it just randomly knocks out one of your shields, I guess. All right. You go get back on a gun, Mendez. I'll probably give him a gunner secondary just to make him a tad more useful. So everybody has a main class and a secondary class. So you can give them kind of multitasking jobs. Usually I just give everybody gunnery as their second job. I'll be honest with you. I get like one other person that can secondary engineer. And then I usually... Oh, we got to land up here. I usually give everybody else gunner. So like I usually make the pilot like a secondary engineer just to fill in in case somebody gets wounded. Or, honestly, in the in Bomber Crew, if you lost your navigator, you basically died. Like, that, I remember the navigator and the pilot both being really, really vital. Like, you had to have them. Nice. All right, so we tractor beam that on out of there, and then we just got to get back on home. And we'll go ahead and launch on out. I'm not here for a luncheon. I'm here to get this thing done. Out here to finish a job. All right, so what are we looking at? Nah, let's go fast route. Whatever. I'm trying to get back home, like, right now. I don't think we have enemies coming in, so, like, eh, why panic about it? Oh, we do have enemies coming in. Hold on, I saw a flicker. Oh, maybe it's just the destroyer. I saw a flicker on the radar, or on the sonar, or whatever, and it threw me off. It kind of, like, scared me a little bit. I saw a flicker, okay? And it's, like, always better to be safe than sorry. Hold on, what just happened here? Oof, paneling got knocked off. All right, go fix the paneling, please. 
Let's go get that taken care of. That's an easy fix, dude. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Get my gunner all healed up while we wait. Almost at the jump point. Yeah, I'm just going to jump for right now. I think Juarez will be fine. This, I bet you this shortest route, though, is going to be dangerous. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. I knew it. Oh, good. They go back to their last position the second that they're done. Good. Well, this is Space Crew. I hope you guys liked it. I'm super stoked to sit around and play this game in my free time. I'll probably be streaming it on Twitch, so you should definitely join me there. I've got the link for you down below. You can get the game. I've also got a Discord that you can check out. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day, so you don't have to. Take care and I'll have something hot and fresh for you off the indie skillet tomorrow. Okay?